Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry, and today we're going to talk about how to paint your house before you put it on the market. Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R E A L, real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds. Give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So, when you're gonna put your house on the market and you know, you notice that you can use a little touch up paint. Let's talk about the areas and how you should go about touching up the paint all over the interior and possibly the exterior of this home. So let's start in the inside. You're gonna wanna go and brighten up the home and put a lot of neutral colors. So you want people to be able to envision what they want the house to look like when they have it. Plus the softer colors create good light balance when you're taking pictures, right, for the listing. So whether it's pictures for the listing or in person, good soft neutral colors do the trick in allowing the prospective buyer to see the house the way they want to see it and picture their own personal colors. When you have things that are very distinct or strong or personal colors to you, it makes it hard for the person to envision themselves unless they have similar taste. And I mean, in a perfect world, you could find someone just like you who wants to buy it. Another, another tip I have when you're painting your house for that resale or when you're getting ready to put it on the market is look for the small details like the crown molding, the areas in between the steps, right? The children's bedroom that you may have may not be a children's bedroom for your next buyer. So leaving it really bright pink or leaving Aquaman, Superman and whoever, whatever other Marvel DC characters on the wall may or may not be the best fit, right? Sometimes when staging, you do want to make it look appealing for that demographic, but sometimes you want to open it up and have it be mass appealing so that more people are interested, so that more people want to buy your house. So these are my tips for the painting, right? Other small areas, ooh, I just remember, is those little around the outlets, right? Make sure you put the, the um, tape around when you're painting those so you have that nice trim. Make it look neat and nice, it's one of the first things that are going to get noticed. And that's what this series is about. This series is going to be all about different things you can, you can do to enhance that first impression when people are viewing your house. Today, we're talking about painting. Tomorrow, come back and we talk about something else. All right? Every day, we're giving you tips. A little bit of tips on real estate, a little bit of education, whether you're buying, selling. We're creating the biggest library of YouTube videos about real estate education for the everyday consumer, potential buyer, seller, and even investor. So check it out. Tune in tomorrow. Be back with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.